What's up, guys? To all my American friends, I want to just say Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we will be doing a Thanksgiving stream later tonight. Who knows what's going to happen, but we do have streams back-to-back. -back. It's that time again each week. So, uh... Actually, it, this, this event cycle got a lot of stuff going on. So I am preparing for another long film just for you guys. I don't know if it's going to be that long. But... Uh, key things to note. Now, we did end up receiving Edo Utakata. But you know damn well that that's not what matters this event cycle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What matters is they brought out Hana Style in a redemption. They have finally done it. Like, oh my god. It is here. Uh, another... When we have, we have other changes to go through, but like, boy, a total recharge rebate for a 30k amount where you get Ashura, Naruto, 80 frags. Are they trying to break this game? Like, are they, like really? <laughs> I mean, let, let's put this into perspective. Ashura Naruto is the best ninja in the game now. Angel Conan probably held that title for the longest since she came out, but like this man is immortal. He is unkillable. And the funny thing is that though Angel Conan was like the best for the longest, she never made it into it. Recharge, rebate, spending, rebate, nothing. Now, Ashur Naruto drops like literally two weeks ago or something like that. And bam, he's back into the next recharge rebate. So, you know, if you did redeem him... You recruited him. Now if you recharge, you get 80 frags, which pushes you to 4 star. And considering how you're already 80 frags of the way, why not just get the 4 star, 20 more frags afterwards? It's just wild to me. Like, it's crazy that like the most broken ninja in the game is added to this. Which, I'm glad they put him because the selection would have been limited. I thought it was going to be like a 20k recharge rebate for Edo Utakata, but they put him in a total spending rebate. Which is nice because it's actually a 16k one instead of a a 20k. And you still get the gold essence. So this is actually like I applaud Oasis for this. Because generosity is a lot more rare than supers. Because that is just crazy. Or RNG. But that's besides the point. So like they lowered it to 16k. Now, Utsakata is like a I would say a novelty niche ninja. So he doesn't have that kind of price and the weight like the 20k ninjas do i personally would have valued him at like you know 10 10k maybe at most because that's kind of what they put edo jins at even though not all of them are probably worth 10k uh so this is still very good i mean you're getting edo Utakata for a 16k spend with a gold essence and you get yourself uh some other stuff now i think it's because they lowered the amount that you're getting a lot less stuff in return I could have sworn they used to give like 10 of these or 20 of these packs for 8k. So, but you still get 30. I mean, you still get two of these Bond Scroll optional packs, but you get way less pages. Which kind of hurts, because the best part of that regular spending rebate was the fact that you were getting like 20 pages. I mean, that was like amazing. So that, that actually sucks, because it is less instead of 20k. But why would that matter? I mean, the total is 20k. Why would they like really ruin this i guess it's just because they don't want to give up too much value for it but yeah you used to get like 20 tactics pages for 8k and that was when it was 20k and you got like 2k coupons back a gold essence a little seven magatama whatever it may be uh so yeah i mean if you're looking at things i would say my funds my funds are kind of low i mean last week has been a a, heart, a battle of hardships with the amount i had to spend you all watched that 295k power video, so I had to even go more into it. But, Eno's flower is over. It's still here just to show, because you have a whole week after the event to claim. And, I don't know, I might have gone over the fact that you got two gold essences on the first day of the event cycle. But I literally forgot about you getting two gold essences until it was the last day. <laughs> so, that's a surprise, but I did get first so um uh, we also got a thanksgiving gift which is a level four magatama pack and then the two gold essences with 
a level six Magatama pack. So yeah, them them gold essences are juicy. Not that I really need them, but um, yeah. So we we gotta fix this situation. All right, this number is getting kind of low. <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. That was my phone. But, uh... We're gonna take care of this situation. So... With my phone besides me, we will make this happen. Alright, there we have it. Man, my phone just loves to go off today for some reason. I don't know why, either. It just starts going off now. But... Here we have 30k. I honestly just God, but can we get? Like, can I get a break? Cause like, <laughs> I got a lot of Christmas shopping to do this weekend too. Uh, so let's just go forward to it. I feel like this recharge rebate will have me set at least until the next one. But you get cultivation scrolls, which are the scrolls for five natures chakra. Eventually, you will see these in the moon shop. So that's pretty much the way you can do the function without spending coupons and ingots directly. Uh, one seal, summoning scrolls, two deluxe packs, five summoning scrolls, two seals, uh, eight charm material packs, one Miyaboku optional pack. Oh, that's kind of nice. I actually, wow, I actually did not know that was that. Uh, 10 advanced pile of chimes, whatever it may be. Then you also get a gold essence and a half. 35 more of these, so you get 40 cultivation scrolls in total. A cave key gift pack. And 100 Mia Boku trainings, actually. So that's actually, uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty decent. I mean, the fact that you're getting Asha for 30k recharge is freaking nuts. I mean, boy. We, we live in Moss out here this week, like, if you're a fellow free-to-play like myself, then, oh boy, you know damn well you live in Moss right now. <laughs> Although all those spins couldn't get me 80 frags of Minato, but whatever. I still ain't gonna let that shit slide, you know damn well RNG ain't never gonna let me slip. Uh, so we got that, we have time-limited refinement. Time limited ninja recruitment, one of the most outdated and prehistoric events. This is probably the only event that has been around since Chio's birth back in 2 BC, because goddamn, like. So we have a prices thanks to Pop Tarts. Now, I initially thought Shisui would be back in Lucky Board because he's, like, always been in there. But they put him in time limited ninja recruitment. Uh, Joni Minato, I mean, costs 12k to recruit. She's three, like 13.3k. Guys, Tortoise, 21k. The prices always seem a lot more in this event. And that's just because it's just. I don't know why. It's just so damn old. It's really an event I would say not to buy stuff in because I think it's personally really bad. Like the Yes, uh, yes Master outfit costing like 8k. When, when it was in L Lucky Board, was I think like 6 point something or like 7k. And you got all those items along the way. So, uh, unless you're desperate for these ninjas, I don't know if you really want to get it. But the bright side is you do get yourself keys throughout the week. Which, I don't know if they fixed it or not, but you were able to basically sweep plot instances nine times a day. Didn't do wanted missions and you would get 11 keys a day. Uh, and then you also get the full, like, seven daily logins. So you do get yourself some points, which could help you get, like, a couple of frags, maybe. Uh, by the end of the event cycle, so it's it's like decent for that. But if you're gonna actually spend into it, then I don't I don't think you might want to. Then we have Kanoha Gift Shop, which I think remains the same. Uh, now it's actually selling these Miyaboku optional packs, so they're worth 450 each. Hashirama Breakthroughs, Hidam Breakthrough Pack, Konan Breakthrough Pack, like Yamato Yamato Breakthrough Pack. I mean, those just seem expensive. That's from last week. Ninja's assist. Now, uh, ninja assist. I don't know. I don't think it's a permanent event. And if it is, I don't know. But it is like a kind of a rebate for assist links, but not necessarily. It's more like to give back for you putting into the assist links feature. So I can already claim these without having to do it. So as long as you got one assist link to level nine, 
uh, three links to level five and th two links to level three, you can just claim these without having to do anything. And then basically win using a bond skill in arena. And then strengthening any assist link daily gets you these rewards. So, you know, it's a little something. I mean, those are bond optional packs as well. So it's it's just a little something. I mean, it's it's whatever. I thought it was going to be like a new power rebate or whatever it was for assist links, but not really. It's kind of like just whatever. Uh, Everlasting Bonds. To better develop and protect Kanoha Village, it's time to call back all your friends. Call back all your friends. How much does, does that cost? I don't know what that is. Lucky Board. One of my favorite events. Uh, if they would ever take out like medium refines and stuff. You know, even though Germany has a lot more per dice, like it costs twice as much than uh, us, the, the freaking Lucky Board they have is banging. Like, I'd much rather have that Lucky Board than the one we've been settled on. Even, ever since they got. Like the freaking Living Moss Lucky Board, it's just like sexy. You get like so many, there's like so many different ninja frags on the board and just other stuff like that. So with the, with the entire thing itself. So we got Lucky Board for 5 Kage Conference Moderate with a range from 11 to 24k. You can assume that 20k ninjas will cost close to 20k. The lowest you could ever imagine is like 18, 19k per each. Bahana style actually 4,500 to 9,000. So personally, I don't care if you kept all the ingots from that platinum recharge. Recharging 24.5k just to get a Hana style outfit. Was there even a gold essence in that? I don't remember. I don't think there was. I think it was just literally that outfit for 24.5k throughout the week. It's probably like the dumbest thing. That anyone could have done. And even if you did the like 15k for 3 days. Then you didn't save as much as you thought it would have been. Because they weren't going to make an outfit like 20k or something like that. Back then outfits kind of released at like 10k to 12k. I think back then someone said the summer outfit when it first dropped like last year. It was like 12k or 14k redemption. I remember Exquisite Silk being... Like 10, 12k, and one other outfit that I, I can't think of, but they were like, I think like Yes Master was like 10k at the start, on release at least, so this is actually pretty good, and this outfit is super sexy. Uh, AGK is here, still kind of keeps it up, I mean 10 to 21k, she'll be cheap, she'll be cheaper than 5 Kage Madara for sure, but she's still expensive. And then yeah, Ambu Yamato right here, uh, actually only costs like 3,600 coupons at most to recruit him because he's a two star so that's actually interesting uh, refine runes now I gotta show you guys this like later but you can actually open these up in bulk what took them so long to do this I have no idea because I've had probably four or five months of buying all these refine rune optional packs and opening a hundred with with carpal tunnels and shit. I mean, like, what? It took them so long to add this. I'm glad they finally did it, but it's like, who knows when I'll ever get back to buying refines like this. But you can finally open them in bulk without clicking each at a time. Um, then we have Sakura Festival with Zabuza's girlfriend. Edo Tensei version there. Refine rebate. Wheel of Fortune with Ashura Naruto frag on this. And they got 80 frags of Edo Tobirama. Uh, first place is still the gold essence in level 6. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So they expanded this from 500 points to 800. And you get two level 7 attack Magatamas. Like, I'm wondering... How much is that worth? Cause that is expensive. That's basically like you do the six, you do the full. It's oh, they updated it. Okay, so daily tries. It's a thousand now. It used to be eight hundred. Eight hundred a day was the most you could spin in this. I remember because I did that shit a couple of times. So it's now a thousand spins a day at most. The last point reward being at eight hundred. Now, low eight, two level seven attack Magatama seems like it's actually worth quite a lot. I don't know how much that is, because Magatama prices are wonky, but. 
This actually seems like it's not bad, but 300 more spins after 500? To begin with, a pill is minuscule, but when you're at like the freaking, you know, free-to-play level at the top, you have to pay attention to pills. 10 summoning scrolls. Is it just me, or does this seem like worse than before? Or is it just so lackluster? It's like literally everything is not worth it. And then the pill has value because of how expensive they are to get. So it's like pretty much not until 500 and 800 that you actually get something worthwhile. But yeah, interesting. No 800. I, would, I actually miss the days of spinning into Wheel of Fortune. But they killed this event and it's just... I don't know. I don't know if it's bad or if it's good now. I really don't. All I know is that the frags are impossible to obtain, so it's just for everything else. But they did add advanced threads to, like, Great Plates and this a while ago, so it makes it, like, a little much... I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it, you know? That's that's what I can say. Uh, and that's gonna be... Oh, there's also Tailed Beast Attack. That's, like, I am just noticed it by looking there. Oh! 3v3 arena is closed. Yeah, people were saying it's like... I thought it was a permanent feature. People said it was a permanent feature with me, and it turns out it wasn't a permanent feature. But I think that's because they take it down to change the rewards, and then they bring it up back up. So it's like it's supposed to be like a monthly seasonal thing, I I think. So it's going to be... I don't know. Hopefully they change the rewards. I don't know if they are, but it's not up, so you can't do 3v3 right now. Uh, but Tailed Beast attack, so I think these stay the same. Alright, so we got Tailed Beast attack. There's quite the variety. So you got Cloak Hinata. She can cost you anywhere from 2400 to 10k. Like, yo, they're smoking. Uh, Haku's girlfriend, or Zabuza's girlfriend. Uh, more female edition for only up to like 3.7k. You got Suit Sai, if you ended up missing him, he ends up being up to 8k. So, freaking Circus Clown Ginger Boy is up to 12.9k. Then you have Edo Asuma, which can cost you up to 7.5k. And then we have ourselves the Edo Jin Pack, which can cost you up to 20k. I don't know how I feel about this event. Like, you know, Tail Beast Attack was pretty decent. Has a reset of 5 now. I don't remember if it's been boosted a while ago. But it used to only be able, you all used to be able to only do it 3 times a day. So it's kind of good that they're raising limits. Because I don't know why there should be limits to begin with, honestly. <laughs> I mean, like, what's the point of having limits? It's like, whatever. But there is quite the variety. And that's pretty much everything that's... That's new this week. Uh, I guess I can go over. So we have new breakthroughs. Without anyone actually paid attention to this one. But Konoha Trader Orochimaru. So we got Opai's translations because I never trust anything this game freaking says. So the main thing about Orochimaru Konoha Trader is basically the mystery, and that's the thing that makes it. That's probably the thing you want to break through and like just pretty much ignore anything else. Like the chase wouldn't be bad, but the freaking exchange of life passive is like useless. But the mystery is where it's at for K uh, Konoha Trader. So it makes it that the Hokages can use their mysteries when they're summoned. Now, it ha makes it so... I'm like looking at the wording on the game and it's just like screwing with me. So, the plus one allows the Hokage to use their mystery. And the only difference with plus two is it has no battlefield cooldown. So you can just pull it out round one if you have the 40 chakra. What this means is that the first time you use the summon, Hashirama pops out. He will use his barrier. Then when you have the second time that you use it, it'll pump out Tobirama. And he'll use his mystery. And that's literally the... Like, this is like the upgrade that Orochimaru Konoha Trader needed. I remember back in those days where, you know, I actually used them uh, just just to kind of troll around because pulling out the Hashi, if you did, if you had your own Hashi with this Konoha Trader Hashi, I think, I don't know if the standards stack, like stacked up with the barrier or whatever it was, but it was just funny to see. 
So there was times where I did use them, but it's been a long road since. So yeah, like I said, you need to get the books for the mystery. Uh, I think it's 50 for the plus 1 and then 100 for the plus 2, so I'm close. Then you also have the standard attack, oh, no, that's a chase for 50, and it's only a plus 1. And the passive, which is just garbage, it's 50 as well, so... I was saving up for it. Actually, did my power go up? So I gained 1600 power, and that's, I guess, the thing that just reminded me that came out. So 1600 power from where, you're gonna find out if you check your power thing. They added the 5 Kage Summit Scroll. So, the way it works is, like, the more ninjas you get, the more attributes you have, and it's based on stars. So for the next star, I'll get, like, 25 life. Um, I could star up, like, you know... OG Mudbone and Sasuke, but I'm saving it. Uh, Suit Sasuke is 5 star. My boy is 5 star. So it's it's really nice that they add this scroll system. Uh, I completely forgot that they could like, keep doing this. So you can get Kurotsuchi frags for moon... No, that's not moon coins. That's the ninja points. They, look, they still look too close to moon scrolls for me. Alright, they needed to make them different. Why is it that, if you notice... The ninja points thing are red in some interfaces. I don't know where I can show it. I don't think it's Survivor, uh, Survival Trial. I was about to say Survivor Series, yo. Like, <laughs> I just watched the WWE pay-per-view last Sunday, but... Uh, I don't remember where it was. Like, Yeah, yeah, it's here. See, ninja points are red. So if they made it like this, then I'd never get it confused with the moon coins. But for some reason, it's red there and like... It's almost the same color as Moon Scrolls. So, you can start redeeming Kuratsuchi, 5 frags a day, 300 points each. You got 10 uh, Akatsuchi frags, you even got Anoki for group victory points, only 3 frags a day. Uh, Tamari 5 Kage Summit, 10 frags a day. You know, at this rate, I might just start redeeming them because I want to get them 5 star, you know. They, they should get breakthroughs as well eventually, but... For at this point, for ninjas like that, I only care about the startups. Look at this! I was four frags of Tarun away. And now I can upgrade him. Even if he has breakthroughs. So Fu as well got his breakthroughs. Now you can start working on getting them. Which is still ridiculous because it takes too long. I might just get five star to be honest. And not do the breakthroughs for him. Uh, I'll wait for skill trials or whatever. Regular Donzo. He is ninja points. So I suggest everyone... Redeem Donzo every day. Alright, whether or not you want to star him up or get his breakthroughs. You gotta get... No, he's he's 3 star breakthrough actually. He actually exempts the rule for once. So you can get the breakthroughs with 3 star. But definitely, I'll be working on getting him 5 star breakthrough. Do you name it? Ow, surprisingly, he costs moon scrolls. Are you serious? He's actually a ninja. Chojuro costs sun coins. Now, I don't need sun coins, but I'd still rather buy them for seals or anything else. I mean, I could get him 4-star for only like 2,000 coin sun coins, or 1,000 sun coins. Mei is added in here. Mifune, you can actually get with ninja points. So that's cool. He gets breakthroughs eventually. Uh, you got regular Hanzo, only 2 frags a day. Madara, 5 Kage Summit is in the scroll too. You got Maboy frags if you need it. You have C frags. You got Darui frags. Then it shows the super rares and the ultra rare. Look at all the treasures. My man Itachi is in. Passed around more than the girl down the street. I mean, boy, you get around. Uh, Sutsasuke, we saw C. Gara Kazekage eventually gets breakthroughs. All you can do is sweep for him. But yeah, it's a nice power boost. Uh, I heard the frags got like lowered somewhere. And I don't know if it was here or if it was somewhere else. Sage Jiraiya, I don't know. They said something about frags changing, and I don't remember what it was. I think it was Gara. I don't know if you were able to get 10 a day or it's it's down to 5, but someone did point that out. And I'm not really sure about it, but yeah, 5 Kage Scroll is interesting that way. So... Good addition. I'm glad that they pumped out the scroll. Gotta keep get them. You gotta just keep getting them stars going, cause we need to get that power. But funny enough is I just did that 295. No, 290. What the hell did I just say? 
295k power video. And then with all the stuff coming out this this today and probably getting stuff, I might even hit 300k right away. Because this new function alone boosted 1600. Which would get me close to like 297k for sure. Yeah, it'd be 297k. But let's get to the good part of the week. Uh, Tarun, I mean, he doesn't have breakthroughs yet, right? So I don't really care about him at all. I've been saving a lot of frags, and there's just so many frags all over the place. Like Edo, Hanzo, 3 star for sure. Alright, let's just mess around with the spending stuff. So, uh, oh yeah, I guess let's look at Hana style. So, that outfit, I don't even remember, okay. It gives you 150 initiative, 200 resistance to every ninja in your formation. So for the initiative boost alone, it's really good. And this outfit is probably like the best looking outfit we have in the game. Earthmane gets hair. Alright, my man was doing 35 to life. They had to shave him for prison. And now he finally grew out that glor like freaking L'Oreal because I'm wearing the hairstyle. Like, it's just so beautiful. So every main looks amazing though. And this, this freaking outfit shows... So, definitely gotta get that, because that's summer one, the summer nights doesn't show anywhere. So, uh, with Naruto, it's 20 to 23.68k uh, initiative. Because uh, I can't use a Karama card on him. But, let's do it. So, we're gonna have to spend into this. Get the outfit done. I don't even, okay, we don't need, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't need, like, that many. Let's start with 250. So we're gonna see where that ends up with, and you know, this is not paywall anymore for that outfit. I mean, I find it, like, if they at least would have put something else in that Platinum Recharge, the fact is that that Platinum Recharge didn't even have ninja frags, you know? You put a straight up outfit for 24.5k, with nothing else to show for it. I mean, y'all are crazy. As much as I don't like Lucky Slot, I think it was better to take the couple of Edohashi, like the four Edohashi frags I got from everything and, you know, the third place prizes and stuff over that amount of recharging just for the outfit. Because the outfit itself is, isn't too expensive, but, yo, that is just crazy when you think about it. I mean, I personally don't, just can't, like, I mean... <laughs> That's just the one time where it's like the value for keeping the ingots doesn't add up. And it doesn't happen often. I mean, I still got a screenshot, right? Oops, that's the wrong one. See, like, it was there was no gold essence. And I kind of like, um, <laughs> the other stuff kind of got vanished. But, yeah, it was just that outfit. That was literally all you were getting. That's why everything else is hidden. Because it was all those ingots just to get that outfit. That was a joke by itself. So now we can get this. And see if it's going to be enough. I'm probably like... I don't know how much it's going to take. So I'm going to buy dices slowly. Because I really don't want to spend more than I have to. So I have 37 from 5k. Uh, I don't know how many to get. Like... I mean, is 50 too much? Let's start with 54 to get it even 60. Oh, I didn't keep track of, like, seals beforehand, but whatever. This this event is beautiful. It's majestic. You get a lot of items. It's kind of funny that, like, I, there's just still more stuff going on after I already went through all my items. So six more frags. Um, I really don't know how many to buy. So I'm just going to show you the recharge rebate, or spending rebate after. But then again, it also like used some of the coupons I might have had, and yeah, I don't know. So let's see. There we go. Exactly! Wow, exactly. Zero points left. So we get Hana style. Someone just got f What? What did I just see? Did I just see, like, Madara 5 Kage Summit become a 4 star? Or am I, like, just seeing things from that notification? But, let's get this outfit going. 
Looking Earthman, looking sexy. That was a 1,112 power boost. Uh, I I expected a lot more from the initiative part, but the resistance part wasn't gonna boost that much power. So that was kind of expected, but that yeah, that 150 initiative alone is really good. So now I get 23.8k. I think my highest might be like 23.9k, real close to to 24k. So that's really good, and it boosts all your other positions as well, which just makes it such a good outfit. Because there hasn't been an initiative outfit since. Oh my god, I always get there's too many tabs. So. We have the first ever, I think, outfit, and I also didn't... Also, I have like three of these, maybe I should start using them. I don't know. No, I'll save it still. And I still have this outfit saved. <laughs> yeah, I just, there's no reason to use it. But, okay, let's go with the outfits. So... The first one that came out was the summer one. It gave 100 initiative, 300 life. So that was the first one, I guess if you count the cross server one for great for great ninja war that would count but from redeemables only that will be one then after that i think it was exquisite silk and then i guess 150 with ninjutsu then they put out yes master which is still the best outfit in the game 300 initiative and 300 attack that is just crazy and now hana style and i think yes master was definitely the last one which was maybe like in april or may so, another outfit that gives initiative. Uh, but it's it's beautiful, I mean. Wait, the Earthman has no hair! What is this? Wait, what? Look, he has no hair on him. What is this nonsense? Do my eyes deceive me? Where is my man? Like, is it fake? Has he got some weave on? I knew it was too good to be true. What the hell happened to him? What happened to my Earthman? Where's his majestic Goldilocks and his L'Oreal hairstyle? Like, what happened? But anyway, we spent... Uh... Huh? I only spent 5.9999. I think I had how many? A thousand coupons? I don't remember. Whatever. You guys, you guys saw the video. But, yeah, I only had to spend, like, less than 6k ingots plus whatever the coupons I used to get that outfit. So that's actually relatively cheap. So if I spend 10k more, I get this. Now this is temptation. Uh, it's been a long road, and I actually wanted to get 4-star Joni Minato. Because he's been sitting at 85 frags for a while. But that event is some ball sack. So I'd rather wait till like Treasure of the Sage comes back around and just do that or get him in a different event. Because it's just and uh it's just really he seems expensive for no reason. You know? So what are my other options? I have Kanoha gift shop, nothing really to buy. Um can't buy friends, so I can't do everlasting bonds either. I mean do I just do 10k into Wheel of Fortune? Uh like, I really don't want to go for the 800. But I don't think there's much else to really buy. Lucky board. Ninja selection-wise, I mean, refine runes wouldn't be bad, but I'm not working on position 2. I don't need any of the other ninjas. Limited recruitment doesn't have anything I could use either. Tilt beast attack doesn't have anything I can use either. Besides, like, maybe Edo Jin's. So, I have no idea. Um, oh, yeah, what's in this shop? Purchase limit. Advanced level refine packs. That's it. So, there's nothing. Monthly gift boxes. Okay. This is rough. And then my, my seals are stacking up. I don't know if that's because of that. Was that, like, a lucky board? That's kind of a lot. Might have gotten, like, 20 seals just now from... Whatever that might have been. Well, not all of it, because there's three here. And there's more here. Okay, I mean, Konoha gift shop. Struggle is real right now.
Even getting 15 frags isn't like too good. It might be like 3k. Which isn't bad. Uh, I guess I'll probably just do Lucky Boar. Not Lucky Boar, but Wheel of Fortune. I haven't done this in so long. So maybe I can get like something out of it. What are the odds of getting 20 Usher and Artifacts from this? I mean, people are spinning into him. But god, this is not that good. Like, get grasps, unbound rune packets. Yo, it feels so disgusting. It's when I reach this stage and I'm like, whatever I buy is kind of regrettable. Like, even, even if, like, what, like, would the selection from Lucky Board be better than Wheel of Fortune? I don't think so. Okay, why not? I'll just do Wheel of Fortune. I haven't done this in God knows how long and I missed it. Maybe I'll end up finishing the 100 points. Um, like, by the last day, I just really don't want to spend more. But I think I'll be covered for the most part. You know, why the fuck not? I'm, I'm, alright. I'm gonna probably end up doing 800 anyway. So for the purpose of Wheel of Fortune getting this, I'm gonna do 800. How about that? Because it's like, why am I fucking waiting? I know damn well I'm gonna cave in and say, I wanna buy 800. Like, I don't know why I'm doing this. So, uh, 16k. Fuck me. Down to 8k. I gotta love this expensive time of the year where I just don't care and money burns faster than anything else. So let's see, what does 800 get you? I only really want to track the seals. What does 800 spins get you? So let's go and use these up. So 598. Uh, I also have 43 cave keys, so I'll instantly notice if I get any more. And then I guess let's see if we get any Ashra frags. So 10 pulls. I mean, like... Oh, I got one Asher frag, actually. I actually got one. Another one? Ooh! Another Asher frag, that's a surprise. And... Miyaboku trainings, I mean... Like, yo, at this rate, we're hitting 300k. This is a Thanksgiving Black Friday special, because, like, whatever. At this rate, I should easily hit... 800, or not 800k, 800k power, right? Okay. Another Asher frag, so it, it gave out like 3 or 4. It still doesn't look that good at all. <laughs> I mean, there's so much variety in this. I'm, I'm like not even seeing seals. But you know what I am seeing, right? Summoning scrolls! Has it really been 800 already? I already went through 800? Yeah, wow. Okay. I'm crazy, but whatever. Let it be. Um, I don't, Yeah, I did not get Edo Tobirama. That was, that anyone would have been told you that before you even had to watch the video. Uh, Asher and Naruto. I actually got 8 frags from 800, so... If I say it's 1 per 100 spins, it's probably a bad average, because... Even I think that'd be kind of lucky. But 12 frags from now and I'll get Ashura 4 star, which I plan to redeem. Like, look at all these ninjas that are just sitting around here. Edo here is in close to 4 star. Joni Minato. Gotta start up Hanzo. Hashi's chilling there. Oh! Oh my god, I missed the most important thing that happened yesterday. Now you guys aren't ready for this, but while I was doing my free pulls, we got... Hashi fucking Rama, second time. So that was actually the free pull. It's hard to believe, but I have went through that whole like two year cycle since I pulled the Hashi fucking Rama on video to get a dupe Hashi Rama yesterday. So that caught me off guard, like. <laughs> but yeah, Hashi fucking Rama. I knew I forgot something. Good thing I checked through this. She's sweet a 5 star, yeah, right. You wish. Tendo. Uh, oh my god, my cat god. 
That old Toby Armor, I already had 100 laying around. Because I got 80 from a recharge rebate after redeeming him, and then 20 from just buying it. Yeah, but yeah, there's just so much stuff like all over the place. Eventually, I should try to get these started up. But, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'll be doing with them. Stuff. Oh, I forgot to... Oh my god, I forgot to claim my stuff. So, spending rebate. We did a 22k. You know, I kind of wish there was a 20k spending rebate this time around. Because I thought I was going to do like 16k and chill off of that. But we got it. Edo, Utakata... I would have to awaken him, and I am still have no moods. But his transform is chill as fuck, though. He's in a bubble, boy! <laughs> Yo, he's chill as fuck. That's actually awesome, though. The bubble is kind of weird, though, because it doesn't face one way. Like, that's kind of funny. Yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> he's in a bubble. That's actually a really nice transform. But yeah, I originally planned to just do, like, 16k and save everything else. But at least I can still... Pay for Naruto Froggy, and then when Fukurukumaru deal rolls around, I'll recharge a little bit more, and this should this should cover that 20k. Either way, I'm gonna have to be recharging week after week for a while, and then you know maybe they do some stuff for Christmas, and that's gonna continue it. But all right, I guess are we gonna try for 300k power? Because I legit just got 295k yesterday. What bad timing! I could have just waited one more day and done a whole like 300k video. But either way, you guys get to see everything, so does it even matter at the end of the day? But yeah, 800 spins. Like, am I crazy? I don't think so. I think we live in Moss, though. Oh yeah, I need, might as well use this. Did I not spin once? I could have sworn I, I didn't spin once. But baby, we out here. The Edo Utakata. Uh, okay, let's go through seals. So, I got, like, jack shit from seals. I got legit, like, five seals and all that. But how many summoning scrolls did I get? That's the most important part. Yo, I had, like, 20 summoning scrolls yesterday, and I'm back up to 94. Alright, and then this game is lagging for some reason. I mean, yo, I doubt people are, like, really wanting to play on Thanksgiving. So, can we, can we get this connection sorted? I mean... But, um... So yeah, 800. Oh, I forgot to open all this stuff up. So let's just do that. Lucky Ninja Pack. I got... Oh, I got a great Ninja War Tent. I don't even know what I could have gotten from those packs. But I pulled, uh, you know, I mean, fucking 80 frags of Tent. -ten. <laughs> Which I think I can 5-star her. I got these Magatamas. I'm just going to open them now. And in a million years, we'll go through them. Because there's, like, nothing else to really do. And then we got ourselves this, uh... Miyaboku training. I think I would go for grasps. I mean, how many, like, trainings did I get? I got, uh, I got 179, so that's at least three. I got enough grasps for another point. I don't have... Like, damn, that's... So either way, I have just enough. I don't even have too much after that. Alright, so... Don't remember where we were. So I had to step away for a second. But I can get 10 10 5 star now. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe I should bring back a 10 10. What do you guys think? I would just 5 star her then. You know, maybe I should just start shit up, to be honest. Like... You know, why not? Why not? Because, no matter what, you'll need, like, four-star everything. That's my belief. I personally... Yeah, you need four-star everything. So, let's just do that, because I'll get power increases. I already have the... I already even have the passive breakthrough, so it's like... I don't care. Fuck it. Let's get Hashi fucking Rama 4 star. Let's get 10 10 5 star. I, I can. I don't really care enough to keep them for such long periods of time. Han is close to 4 star. Mongetsu almost. I mean, Edo Tobi Rama, like. Why not? <laughs> it was sitting around for too long. Uh, Sasuke, you're, you're just gonna be like the Raikage. 
And even if you don't need 4 star, I need skill trail anyway, so... Why the fuck not? I don't care, honestly. Let's just bang up all the notifications. If I can 4 star it, I'll do it. And if it's like something I don't care about, I'll 5 star it, so... Let's get Tarun. Because there's just really no reason to keep them around for ages. Green Ninja War Tamari 4 star, I mean. I got stuff hiding out on me. Can get Anko 5 star. Uh, so it has been uh, a lot. And then I have to start getting these Awakens. So close, yet so far. God, I'm getting so impatient. What they're probably gonna do. So how much did I get? Like, I got legit barely any power for starting up all of them. I mean, this gave me 86 for something. Which I feel like that was the right Kage. So, um... Yeah, why not? Let's just go for 300k at this rate. I literally didn't think I would get it the day, the day after. <laughs> but I did. Oh, there's also these Mount Mia Boku training packs. Um, either way, they're both the same. I guess since I have... I, I'm starting on gifts again, I might as well go for gifts. But they are more common to see than grasps. But I think I think grasps are pretty common these days. Let's get all the unbound runes, I mean... Let's have ourselves a party, I mean, let's... Two cave key gift packs. Let's just let's just have an excuse because it's Thanksgiving. I can do this for you guys and bring you some back to back action. I even have these cultivation scrolls, but that's just not gonna make a difference. How many cave keys did I end up with? Five twenty nine. So I got quite a bit of cave keys. All right. So we're gonna have to switch mains. Start up all those ninjas too. Oh, the road to the 300. The 300k road is too soon. Right? Way too soon. So we're gonna have to go lightning for the massive boost. Change mood. The lightning main looks majestic though with Hana style. Like, let me take off the transform for a second. But like, yeah, he has freaking long hair. I mean, it, it just, the colors and everything just looks so nice. So let's fix the mood. That's why I personally say like Hana style, even if it's not as good as the other initiative outfits. I mean, it gives 150, but the resistance is kind of eh. It's it's just it's a very good outfit and it looks beautiful. And I need to drop like freaking resistance or defense, and I never mind. Nothing, nothing happened. So let's just go through it all. And try not to get too many, like, I see too many people making characters on my server just to try and reach out, and I'm like, no. Nah. The worst thing is when people make an account on my server and ask for money. Like, people, people actually do that. You'd be surprised. Alright, yo, where's the book option at? Alright, you add book option for the freaking other one, but you don't add book option for tactics pages? Do this next, I mean, come on. I ain't gonna be sitting around opening 31 packs. So I can't one-click this. I can do this once. Oh, I should have probably done a grasps then. I don't know where the hell these grasps came from. Could have sworn I had way less, but oops. That, that would have actually put me closer to the next node. Uh, I definitely want the resistance one. And then the critical. And I get a surprise penetration. Oh, ho, ho. And I'm going to get a combo. And we can get an injury. Ooh, if only I can get that freaking... Initiative boost again. That would be nice. That takes care of that. Summons. This is horrible. Um, I honestly just want to leave it. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. Basically, what I have to do is just get the mountain forces on everyone. Because, yeah, I'm not going to get the new summons for a while. So let's just one-click it. And then just do not use ingots. Because we already we already pretty much used up everything we just got. 
I'm trying to save at least one week. Okay, uh, I think the bull was almost done to being done as well. So that that and the thing is, it's gonna give me like initiative numbers. So it's gonna be a decent power boost. But yeah, if I don't hit 300k from all the stuff going on now, then I'll just be like, why? <laughs> I mean, it's way too close. Like force is on the last one. And we're already almost done with all the unbound runes. Almost 280k power with this team, so I'm gonna go over 300k. Uh, too much happens once again. Get this going. And then Lake Forces. I mean, the stats are kind of nice when you accumulate everything, but look at all this. 2047 for the last one. Oh, and we're out already, but I got the power boost. Uh, is there anything else to really do? Okay, equipment upgrades. I can already feel the people that are going to be like, why did you start ninjas up? You could have saved the frags for breakthroughs or especially like the super rares, but... Like I said, they need to do skill trial, so you can experiment and get your shit going, otherwise not. You know, is there a way to get myself the last couple of, like, Konoha? That's for Gift or Grasp, but that's not for the training ones. Because I'm kind of being impatient, like, I just want to get that training thing done. But there's no way to get it anymore without going right back into, um... Uh... Well, I actually got a lot of Lucky Ninja packs, so what could have this given me? Wow, so Toby Ramen Hashirama is in here too. Okay. The rune packs. Reputation Hall, I'm guessing it's for... It's not Ninja Collection. For Summon. So I can give a little bit of stance, I can pull a suffix. What is my luck today? Melon eating community. Okay then. Okay then. Oh, I even lost my purple title, so I have to fix that. You know, maybe I should go for a different color, but I really like that purple. I really like that purple. Um. Oh, yeah. There is stuff actually. So I already collected it, but the gold essences, there's a couple I think I got. The recharge rebate, more purples, another one. Oh my god. I, I don't think I can max the rope. Even if even if I win the Wheel of Fortune one, I'm still one essence short, but I am one essence short from finish or two now, assuming I don't get that one. Two from the second rope. So what's the position one stats? And what's the position to 13.2 and then oh, let's check the crit and injury because that's gonna go up so it's like 300 oh damn so we're gonna max the second rope almost everything came too soon like literally the day after so this is 16 this is six wait i have fucking five so wait all i need is one more and i'm done then oh shit okay this is kind of uh <laughs> this is kind of too much like this is actually like too much so that's injury maxed i'm gonna have to like i think recycle a gold this is actually like wow this is too much like that's crazy wow i am like kind of left speechless Fucking position 2 rope is about to be maxed. Not today, but... Damn. Actually, I really don't know. I think I'm still off because... I would need one more essence. The 9 would not be enough. But I'd be super close, even with another gold essence. I'm like... I would say gold essence and a half away from maxing my second rope. Literally the only thing it's missing is the life. So this gives 4,870 life and initiative because of it. 
and this gives 4,400. So it's like, wow. It's injury and crit is the same. Almost both ropes are maxed. <laughs> 28,000 or 280,000 power with this team. I mean, what's Minato looking like? 13.4k initiative, 12.7k, 12.4k, and 4. Thousand initiative of that is all from that rope. <laughs> like treasure tools is the most busted feature, but it needs so much into it. Treasure tool, like oh, we're almost max, four sixty-five, yeah. So it'd be close, but I think I'm still like two gold essences away. Like two gold essences away with the stuff I have to max it. That's almost a thousand purple essences combined that I've used into that feature. That is... Wow. But unfortunately, in the future, that'll be another initiative boost. So I guess, is it time? 295k power yesterday. Wrong team. <laughs> 300 and 1k power so despite everything i still managed oh uh, actually i guess i can use a pill and at this rate i might as well just get this done because eventually i will fix that percentage and uh, i did get like magatamas but You know, I can start working on the 8, but is it enough? Nah, like how much is a 7? It's 4,000, so... One of them is the equivalent of a full 7. That'd still be a long road for 9s. But it does put me a lot closer to a 9. So 301,000 power. I gained 6k today. Finally hits over 30k attack on Hokage Minato. And 24k initiative. I mean, wow. So 24k initiative is my max. That's wild. But that video is finally going to be done. I'll see you on the stream tonight. Get your Hana style. I am the first free to play. To reach 300k. Quite the milestone, boys. <laughs> Live Moss and stay free to play.